Gigi, catch it. Sassy, move it. Hey, nasty. Hey, yeah. Acting stupid. What was happening? Bitch, what was happening? Bitch, I was savage. Hips, tick tock, when I dance. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Philippa. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not new to this channel, then you guys already know you're gang. So I'm just gonna hop straight into it. I'm sure you guys have read the title of this video. You will know what this is all about. So let's get into it. First, we're gonna do hair. Okay, so first things first. If you guys see me looking off to the side, it's because there's a mirror behind my camera. So I need to see what I'm doing. So... Just disregard that and pretend like I'm giving y'all my full attention because I am, but like, you know, you know. So, to achieve this style, you are going to need your hair, obviously. Um, I have braids in right now, but like, you could literally do the style with your natural hair if you're non-black. Obviously, you couldn't do the style with the hair that you have. Just take the hair on your head and let's get to it. So, the second things that you're going to need is some hair ties. Um, child, where did my other one go? Okay, so the second thing you need is some hair ties. I have a small one and a large one. If you're black and you like to style your edges, you're gonna need gel, a edge brush, all of that good stuff. So first things first, before we start actually styling the hair, um, if you choose to style your edges, then you're gonna wanna style the side that does not have bangs. Um, yeah, and I just chose to style like the sideburn part, even though it's curling up, like, ugh. I just don't understand why every single time I use edge control, it always curls up. Or, yeah, so you're just going to want to style the edges on one side of the side that does not have the bang. And next thing we're going to do is section out the bangs. Yo, honestly, my mirror is so far away and I'm not wearing my glasses. I'm blind as hell, so if this comes out ugly, I tried, y'all. <laughs> like, I freaking tried. Make sure you leave the piece, like, if you if you have braids and you're doing the style, make sure you leave the piece that's, like, um, right near your ear out. So once you've sectioned out your bang, you're gonna take this part of the hair and put it up. Make sure it's the same amount of braids up on both sides. And then I'm gonna go in with my long headband. So let me just... So I've bunched it up, I'm going to tie this ponytail up. I look like the freaking grudge. Oh my gosh. Now that we have that part up, we're gonna take our bang. I'm doing a bang on this side because this side is the good side of my face. I mean, to be honest, they're all good sides, but this is the like especially good side. So what you're gonna do is bring it forward. And there's different type of bangs that you could do, like different type of swoop that you could do. Like you could just do like that, that's cute. But I'm gonna go for more of like an elegant look. So I'm gonna take my bangs and like, Fold it back like this. Looking into the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna fold my bangs back like this. Kind of like piling them on top of each other. And then I'm gonna make it swoop over here by my ear. And then I'm gonna take it to the back and connect that into my ponytail using my second hair tie. So just pull your bang down as far as it needs to be. Make sure you have enough swoopage going on. And then tie that into the pony. I hate when I'm watching girls doing their like hair tutorials and the ponytail snaps, like ugh. Just pull that through the arm strength that it takes. Okay, now I'm gonna pull, make sure I like my swoop, and I'm gonna build up the front. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, go into the mirror, and fix up my swoop, and I'll be right back. Also, I've gotten my swoop exactly how I want it to be. Now the last step to this hairstyle is to take hair from the back of the ponytail 
and wrap that around the base to conceal the headbands and also conceal those <laughs> little pieces of the braid that's coming from the bang that we tucked in but and this is also going to make your ponytail sit higher too which i personally like that look better than a flat pony like who wants a flat pony not me i'm sure not you And then you're just going to tuck the braid underneath into the ponytail. Or you can, if you're doing this on your like actual hair, you can use hairspray to hold it all in place. So let's do one last check in the mirror. And my bag fell. You see, this freaking braid does not want to cooperate with me. It's actually pissing me off, like, getting me real tight. That's why I'm taking these braids out. Because I... Okay, and you should end up with something like this. It's super elegant, super cute. It's just a way to elevate your Valentine's Day look. Um, this is my go-to whatever I want to look classy. Per <laughs> with braids, so y'all can look classy too. We'll try to say something y'all can look classy too. Now onto the part that everyone's most excited for, I'm sure, the outfits. Okay, so I'm gonna look at, be looking at my phone for reference, and I'm gonna have a cutaway of me like wearing the actual clothes just because my room is so small that I cannot get a full body camera angle in this tiny ass box of a room. So I apologize, but I'm gonna have the cut out, the try on next to me on this side here. So let me just even scoot, scoot to the side, and then the try is gonna be over here. So, first outfit so the first outfit is a hoochie mama outfit <laughs> if you're trying to look sexy for your man you know i ain't got a man i do not have a man but if you're trying to look sexy for your man then you should definitely wear an outfit like this um or if you guys are going out like i don't know do people go to the club on Valentine's? i don't know child <laughs> this is a, this is a sexy number nonetheless so this little back dress um is from sorella boutique I, I actually really love this dress like it's cute it's super sexy it's a little bit like too sexy for me like I really don't know where I'm going but one thing I will say is that if you have big blues the cups the cups I don't know what you're gonna do about the cups they might not even fit you because child but yeah this dress is just the strappy heels with the little um silver detailing at the bottom just brings it all together and then the purse the purse is from guests the purse, like the pattern, just adds a little zhuzh, a little je ne sais quoi, a little va voom to the outfit. And yeah, like it's just super cute, super, just like a little sexy, like, you man gonna be like, ooh, like, he gonna treat this year, purr! <laughs> so yes, yeah, just bask in the cuteness that is this outfit. Now for the second outfit, we have this long satin pink dress. Okay, funny story about this dress. I've actually had this dress in my closet for years. Like, I'm pretty sure I bought this dress when I was like 16 years old. And it's just been sitting in my closet because I have nowhere to wear it to. Um, the dress is from Misguided. The purse is also from Misguided. So I thought it was just like the nude and the pink just goes so well together. It looks so cute. Um, the lace up strappy heels are from Pretty Little Thing. I freaking love these heels. And you're going to see them featured in a lot of outfits because what can I say? Like, they were just matching everything. <laughs> the lace up. It's just giving what what it needs to give. It's giving everything that it was supposed to give. Like it just looks so good. That's outfit number two. And also the back of the dress is like a little lace up thing. Um, I'm recording this before I put on these outfits. So as for the try on portion, I do not know how that lace up thing is gonna look because I don't know who's gonna help me lace up this dress. <laughs> to be honest, but I'ma try, y'all. I'ma try. But like the little lace up, the lace up detail in the back of the dress with the lace up detail on the heels. It's just a little like. It's just, I need to find other words other than cute, but it's just, it's really a look, like it's really a fit, and that's all I'm going to say on that. Okay, the third look. The third look, this is the only look that includes pants. I just have to throw some variety in there, because I know not every girl is like a dress and heels type of girl. Um, I personally, I don't really wear skirts, like I'd rather wear a full dress than wear a skirt, so I, I already know that like different girls are into different things, so I just have to put some variety in there for those of y'all who want to wear pants this top okay if you watch my for a little thing haul you know how i feel about this top like i just love this top it's so cute it's nice and stretchy you have room to expand if you go out to eat for dinner there's definitely room for your belly to expand and still look cute in this in this top like the off the shoulder is not tight it's not restricting blush pink color is giving everything and more 
And then the brown pants are from Shein, of course. Skinny. And then the flared out at the bottom with a little split hem. We love that trend. That trend is super... What can I say other than cute? <laughs> I don't know. No, honestly, what's another word other than cute? I'm really blanking right now, which is so sad because English was my favorite subject. Do you think I know I would know how to be more descriptive than this? Like, what's going on? The whole outfit together is just a vibe with a chocolate brown purse. Do you guys see that purse? I'm obsessed. It's so cute. And then, of course, the same heels as the last outfit, just because, like, it matches the tones. Y'all see these tones that I put together? I'm giving you chocolates. Melanin. Nah. <laughs> Melanin on Valentine's Day. Period. Outfit number four, we have this two-piece set, pink, pinky, pinky, pink, pink. Like, all the pinks I've been enjoying so far have been, like, pale pinks, blush pinks, but this is pink, baby, pink. <laughs> like, in your face pink. And I honestly don't really wear pink that color. Like, if I'm wearing pink, it's going to be a blush-toned, a light pink, you know? But I had to show out one time for the one time. It's Valentine's Day, of course, so of course you're going to want to look your best. Even though we're, like, at home and well in canada maybe i'd say in canada in ontario we're under a stay home order i don't know if that's going to be lifted before valentine's day we'll see but even if you're at home you can still make it special you can still like i don't know transform the room sprinkle a little bit of rose petals on the floor make a nice table set the table buy flowers put in a vase like i don't know anything you can do to spice it up like just because of everything that's going on in the world this year does not mean that we shouldn't like celebrate these holidays like how we normally would we just gotta make find a different way to make it work you know so baby because if i had a man we would be celebrating period <laughs> yeah that's outfit number four just a two-piece set though but it's cute as hell like the ruching this ruching trend i'm so happy because it really is giving body where body was like it's really helping elevating the body like the body was at a medium level but now it's taking the body to the top level so i mean i'm here for that I'm supremely here for that and I just thought I would pair with a white purse because the conscious of white and pink is just like so cute to me okay now on to outfit number five so for outfit number five we have this I don't even know cut out shoulder dress from pretty little thing yeah this dress from pretty little thing is super cute um I got it in a size six and it's like it has a lot of room like you could if you want your dress to be fitting skin tight then you should size down definitely when buying this dress however i don't mind it because say if you guys went out for dinner and you wear this dress at the end of the dinner you're gonna have a food baby and since the dress has a lot of room it's gonna be you know be hiding all the lumps and bumps that you don't want to show so it's a win-win at the end of the day and these cute ass heels like i cannot wait until i can step out in these heels do you guys see these heels I don't, do you guys see these heels these are so cute so unique like there's literally no one in my area that i have seen wearing shoes like this so period i, I like to be unique I, I like to stand out so i'm super comfortable to walk in you would think that like because there's not like really the strapping is kind of weird like there's not really anything at the back of your foot holding you into the shoe but like trust me they're secure the square toe is super cute i'm super here for that um the little how it like zings <laughs> The little spring around your ankle is super, super like, wow. Whoever and whoever created this design, their minds is powerful. Like what? <laughs> and now for the last and final outfit, you know I had to throw something red in there. I don't, I don't even wear red like that. I probably have like three red things in my closet, but this dress is one of them. This dress is another one of those ones that I bought so many years ago, but I never wore it. I have so many like clothes, so many. I'm sure like everyone can relate now to having so much clothes in their closet that they like they're waiting to wear but even before the pandemic i was doing that <laughs> okay so my camera literally stopped recording in the middle of me talking like ugh, so ghetto i cannot wait to get a new one i don't even know where i was at so i'm just gonna start all over again so the last outfit is this red dress it's a long midi dress super sexy super grown woman super classy elegante like super just like she knows she's about her business don't play with me i said water for the table like don't play with me the amount of clothes i have from when i was like 15 16 17 sitting in my closet and i still have not worn them like uh, hi guys my name is philpa and i'm addicted to sh online shopping <laughs> i'm admitting it here i am addicted to online shopping and i i know that's a problem but i don't want to change <laughs> i do i'm i'm not gonna change like it's just it just is what it is i paired it with these square heels from pillow thing i love these heels super comfortable to walk in the heels not too high the square toe was just such a cute ass trend like i'm just so happy it came this trend because 
<laughs> us flat footed gals. We finally have a chance to shine. And then I paired it with this triangle shoulder bag from Guess. Super cute. I feel like the croc, the croc um, pattern on this, um, wow, I cannot speak. I feel like the croc pattern on the purse contrasts really well with like the crushed velvet um, fabric of the dress. Like, just imagine taking a picture of this outfit with a flash on. Ooh, girl. Shining, 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 yeah. Well, that is all that I have for you guys today. All of these outfits were hitting. I can't believe my mind came up with this. Like, wow, it's crazy. Yeah, this was so much fun to do. I honestly love fashion videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you love all my outfits. Leave me a comment because I love reading all of those. Make sure you're subscribed. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one.